I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Welcome back and moving on to the third race, which goes at 10 past one. It's the Vodacom 2200 Grade 3. And it is the first leg of the place accumulator. We're going to show you one rerun, that of number 11 Airways Law, when he won at Hollywood Bets Gravel in spectacular fashion on the 11th of June. Making their runs on the outside, Gangsford, Native Tongue, and Shalima wide open. Airways Law trying to close in. Warrior runs on Airways Law. Gangsford, gentleman's wager, nowhere to go, but Mount Anderson now picks it up. Mount Anderson, Airways Law, a big runner on the inside. Airways Law, his date with destiny today. Airways Law is, of course, the first reserve in the, the Hollywood Bets Durban July, but failing at scratching, he takes his place in race uh, three, the Vodacom 2200. Before I get to my fellow panellists, Rahil and Sheldon, let's go to our interview package. We chatted to Justin Snaith, Paul Peter, Sean Terry and Vaughan Marshall. Yes, uh, look, he's got a big weight. He's lugging here. Uh, I think it's about 61 and a half. So uh, he's got a lot to do, but uh, he's doing well at home and expect a nice run. Uh, if he gets to the front and he gets a little easy, maybe he'll, he'll run into the money. But certainly a horse that uh, on his day, you can never leave him out. Yes, uh, he must have a big chance and it was a, a very good run. Uh, he was still a little bit green on his first time at Gravel. Uh, the, winner, the winner of the derby come out of that form line, so it's not a bad form line and he, he, he's working well. He should have a good E-Trade chance, must be good in all exotics. I think uh, it's a big mass, obviously, you're always concerned about the weight, but he's got a lovely draw. Keegan has ridden him really well this season, and I think he's had a perfect preparation. Obviously an open race, and, and as I said, to give away weight all round is not easy, but he'll be there. Funny enough, he won this race last year as well. Um, he's had a lovely preparation, he enjoys gravel, and uh, yeah, certainly has got a chance here. Yeah, right here. You know, he's run on strongly in, in his races up to 1,900 metres. Um, so Richard suggested we try him in this race. And, uh, you know, he's very well. His work's been good at home. And we're just hopeful that, that he can see out the distance. And if he does, then he's got a place chance. Didn't, didn't go quite to plan last time. I think he was caught a little bit far back and uh, he was firing home. Uh, back here in a 2-2, you expect a, a, a big run from him. I, I've just opted, instead of going straight into the 3,000, we'd rather go here and uh, depending on how he runs here, uh, into the uh, Gold Cup. So that's the plan with him. I think uh, he's a horse that's going to give a good account of himself. Sadly, I think if I'd planned it better, we might have seen him in the main race. So let's see if uh, he can do something here. Well, there we heard from a whole team of trainers, and I can tell you that Justin Snaith is quite confident that uh, number 10, one-way traffic, is going to make his presence felt in a big way. But yeah, Airways Law gets his chance to step up further. Uh, Rahil, he's unbeaten as a gilding. His victory in that clip that we showed when he won the cup trial was quite spectacular. Whichever way you look at it, I mean, it was way back turning for home. They did go very quick in the early stages, but... Had to be impressed with their ways, Law, and the way he's progressing. Absolutely, Graham. He's just coming on leaps and bounds with each and every run. And he's an individual that I think is going to take a bow beating in the, the Vodacom over the 2,200 metre trip. I think there does seem to be a decent pace in the race, and it's only going to shoot him down to the ground. He's a horse that can switch off really nicely at the back end of the field, and he can turn it on. I mean, Sheldon has mentioned in his commentary his turn of foot is his secret weapon, and he's really got a good turn of foot. And uh, for me, Airways Law is a firm first choice here. Sheldon, is it fair to say that, yes, he did win the Cup trial, he won it impressively, but this is a slightly tougher test. He's firstly got to prove his racing style suggests that 2,200 metres is not a problem, but he's got to prove he gets that trip, and I think uh, it's a slight step up. There is a definite uh, question mark in the back of your mind, that step up in the class, the distance shouldn't be a problem. He is a horse who's improving at a rate of knots. Not a good thing in my opinion. I think there's one or two horses like Shango, one-way traffic, there is opposition. 
Had he got into the Hollywood bets, Durban, July, there are a lot of people out there who would have fancied him. He's going to be given a chance from the draw. He'll be running on very, very strongly. 7-2 to two down 2-1, two to one. so the guys have latched on very early on. He will be my first selection, but as far as a bet goes, I think exactors, swingers and that, I'm not that confident. I think number four, Zilzal, and of course number six, Shango. Number six, Shango, we've always liked him, and I think he's the he horse. He won this race last year. He won it last year. He came back last time, beat Flying Bull. He's got a big reputation on his day, and I think he's the horse Airways Law has to fear. From a place accumulated point of view before we get to our Lala selections from a place accumulator point of view would you be hesitant to bank an airways law or would you put a couple I'd put two or three I'd definitely put number six Shango with number 11 airways law and then perhaps number four Zilzo well there we go the first leg of the place accumulator the Vodacom 2200 not a cut and dried race there are a few that can put their hands up for the lion's share of the 175,000 rand person offer but let's go through our Lala selections. So here are mine. I'm going with number 11, Airways Law, to win it. Although now two to one, I don't think is uh, a fair price. I think the fair price is gone. Two to one's a little skinny for me. Taking him to beat home last year's winner, number six, Shango. Justin Snay strongly fancied number 10, One Way Traffic. Back in fourth, number three, Flying Bull. And I'm suggesting in this race that you Box those exactors, 3, 6, 10, and 11. Your selections, Rahil? I'm an Airways Law fan, Graham, and I'm all in with Airways Law in this race. I think he's a horse that's going to take a power of beating, and he's going to be a banker for me in uh, all my bets. And I've suggested Airways Law as a win bet in this lineup to beat number 10, One Way Traffic, followed by number 6, Shango, and then horse number 8, Super Silvano, who can make those trifectas and quartets pay. But Airways Law for me, Graham. Our boy's got lots of confidence in Airways Law, so he's already found us two bankers on the opening three uh, races. Hopefully you've still got some firepower left yeah. to go into the pick six after race three. But Sheldon, your selections. Well, as you can see from Rahil's stance he took there with Airways Law, he'll be screaming that home big time. When it comes down to my selections, you'll see my Lala bets and my suggested top four. I am going to go with number 11, Airways Law. He's got that improvement factor to come. Number six, Shango, will be my second pick. Four, Zilzol, and three, Flying Bull. The box swinger, four, six, and 11 for me for race number three, Graham. So there we go. We've chatted about the race. You heard the interview package. You've watched the rerun of Airways Law, and you've got our Lala selections. More we cannot give you. Let's move on to the next. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.